All right, now we're going to talk about the dialogue that you have when her first show cancels. I don't mean her first show. I mean the first show, the first cancellation she gets. Let me put it that way, the first cancellation she gets. Remember, how you start is how it's going to end. You only have a small window of opportunity for a new beauty consultant to be listening to you. So when she has her first cancellation, you have to freak out. And I'm serious. Same thing with bookings. You have to freak out, but you freak out in a friendly way. So let's say that you are, you know, calling her to say, have a great show. I'll be thinking about you tonight. Are you nervous? You know, all that stuff. And she goes, oh, oh, my show's not on tonight. She actually moved it till next week. Or maybe she emails you that back. The whole point is, you have to freak out, but you don't make her feel guilty in a really negative way. So what you do is you say, oh my gosh, Diane, oh no, what happened? Is she sick? Is some, did somebody die? You know, really react and then listen to what she has to say. Because obviously if it was a really serious thing, you'll say, oh, that's terrible. You must be so disappointed. I feel so bad for that woman. And then say, okay, but listen, remember, this is part of why we teach you to overbook. Do you get it? You want to hold two shows a week. So now do you see why you want to book three and four? Because this was a circumstance that you couldn't do anything about. However, let's take this night that you were planning on working and let's make a list of things you can do to work anyway and get her working anyway. Seriously, if she just takes the night off, she's not going to be incentivized to save shows in the future. So you can ask her, okay, here's a list of things that you can do now tonight. And I mean, I can give you a bunch of them, but basically what you want to do is pick the one that would be most natural for her. So if it was her first cancellation and it's very early in her career, you would want to have her call upcoming hostess and make sure that she's making great confirming phone calls. So you might want her to look at that video on that first. Um, you might want her to call up people that are potential bookings to replace this show. You might want to have her come to a show with you or come back to training. But the point is to say to her, you know, Diane, you were planning on working tonight. So we want to make sure that you are working tonight. Ideally, what you'd want to do is you'd want to make at least $50 and get a couple of bookings because that's what you would have done. Is there anybody that you know you could go over and you could do a free facial and makeover on for practice that could get a girlfriend over? Now, this works better if you've talked to her the day before. But even if you're talking to her that night, she might not do it that night, but she might do it in the next couple of days because she realizes, oops, I guess it's not okay for a show to, to, to uh, cancel. Also, get a promise from her to look at the cancellation video within the next 48 hours and then follow up on that. Okay, let's say she's not panicked at all. She goes, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, it's my sister and I was disappointed, but you know what? She's having it next week. Okay, then you need to say to her, oh my gosh, you sound just like me. I remember when I thought it really didn't matter what day the show held because it was going to hold, right? And it wasn't really a cancellation. We think it's a postponement. The founder of the company even went through that. As a matter of fact, Deborah has a video on that that I want to direct you to right now. And then I might say to her, Diane, how much money were you expecting to make from the show tonight? Well, I don't know. Well, what do you think the sales might have been? Well, I think they might have been $300. Okay, so on a $300 show, you would have made $75. Here's what I want you to do. Do you have your wallet handy? Yes. Okay, go get your wallet. And be really like upbeat and kind of goofy with this. Okay, listen, I want you to take $75 out of your wallet. Now, probably she'll say I don't have it. But if she does, say $75. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to rip up the, that $75 and throw it away. Are you doing that? Of course, she's going to say, well, no, and say, okay, I'm just trying to make a point here. You were intending on making $75 tonight, and you would have got a booking from this show for next week anyway. So it is a postponement is a cancellation. And although you will always be sympathetic if somebody, you know, has a death in the family or they're very sick, and that's why you overbook. When somebody just doesn't have enough people coming to the show or they didn't take the time to get the show ready, you've got to dive in there as the coach and save that show. Now, I know this might seem a little uncomfortable at first. This is going to be one of those stick your neck out things, but you will get comfortable with it. Now, your goal, Diane, was to make $500 a month to pay off your debt, right? Or you might say to her, tell me what your goal is again. Tell me what your goal is. Well, I want to make $500 to pay off my debt. Okay, so do you see how important this is? This is about your goals. So tell me now, just because I want to help you in this right away, because I think you have all the potential in the world. Tell me now. What do you think would hold you back from doing this, from saving a show? If she says, I don't know, then say to her, if you did know, what do you think would hold you back? And nine times out of 10, you're going to get them tell you, well, I'm just afraid she's going to think I'm being pushy. You have to remember there's only two reasons why your beauty consultants are not getting results. Number one is that they don't know what to do, which is solvable, right? Number two 
they know what to do, and they're afraid to do it. So do you see how simple your job is? It's figuring out, does she know what to do? And she's not doing not doing it, she's afraid, or does she not know what to do? Because if she's afraid, then you gotta have the fear talk. And you have to have it. Nobody makes it in life without stepping out of their comfort zone. And you know that she's going to be uncomfortable with some of the stuff she's gonna be doing. At the same time, you also know that's part of what's gonna make her great at this business. So walk her through. What do you think is the worst possible thing that could happen? Who thinks good thing I'm pushy? Okay. Let's focus. Would you feel better if it was the focus was on what's in it for your hostess? Yes. Okay, great. Well, first of all, I do need to tell you that if it's one of your first six shows, you have this one opportunity that you'll never have again in your career, and that is to let them know that your that show was a part of your agreement and that you submitted it to the company and that you absolutely positively must hold that show because it's part of your agreement. You'll never have that leverage ever again. So by the way, as a manager, this is a great reminder for you to remind them to thank their upcoming hostesses and let them know that they can't change the dates because it's on their agreement. But the more common thing that you would say to her, you will say that when it's early, but the more common thing to say to her is when somebody hangs up the phone and she realizes she, you just let her postpone till next week, how do you think she feels? Well, probably relieved. Yeah, probably. Then what do you think she has to do? Well, I don't know. Well, do you think she has to call the four people that were coming and cancel them? Yes. She has to tell them a new date. Yes. Do you think it's possible that those four people might not be able to come on the new date? Possible. Now she's going to call up the people that weren't coming and tell them she postponed it and she's going to have it another date. Do you think it might have been easier for her just to go ahead and hold the show? So your focus, I love it. You don't want it to be all about you, but you do want it to be about her. And it really, truly is in her best interest to hold that show. So we can give you words that you can say to your hostesses, very specific words. Matter of fact, they're on the videos. But you can say to a hostess, Carrie, listen, you know what? I know that if I said to you, fine, no problem, let's have it next week, you'd be relieved for about three minutes. And then you'd realize the work you have to do and then make it sound horrible what you'd have to do to reschedule the show as opposed to just going ahead and holding it. Let her know that it doesn't matter if it's the biggest show you ever do or not. It's just important that you work tonight. And if you had have known sooner, you could have booked another show. So you'd really prefer to hold it and that you're committed to her and you're going to be there. You know, wouldn't you agree that it's more about your tone of voice than anything else? Okay, always when you give somebody direction, you need to say, promise me you'll do that. Will you promise? Because women will do more for somebody else than they'll often do for themselves. So if you just keep pouring this stuff into people and hoping they're going to do it, they're not going to do it. But you have a better shot if you say, promise me you'll do this. Promise me you'll call her. Call me back and tell me when you did it. Because then she will often do it for you. But if you don't have a time for her to get right back to you and tell you that she did it, it's all up in the air and it doesn't matter. And I can tell you from experience that I have had people that I've said to do it, they called me back right away. Sometimes they saved the show, which I went crazy and praised the heck out of them. And sometimes they couldn't save the show. But you praise the heck out of them anyway and say, do you realize what you just did? You just walked through a fear. And you know what? The fact that you did this, you can do anything. It doesn't matter to me that that show's not holding. It doesn't matter at all. Because what's more important is, is that you are the kind of person that I know can be great at this business. You have got fantastic character. I can't even tell you how proud I am of you. Do you see the difference? Now, if you're having trouble with girls getting back to you, do you think this might be part of it? Have you just turned into a, a total taker? I mean, we all do it. We all go through phases of that. But when a girl is within her first 10 shows, especially, is when you need to be directing her. Later on, you will be more taking totals and just praising her. But in the beginning, boy, you've got to hold her hand and you've got to teach her. Because you want to know at the end of the process, I did everything I could. It's up to her. It's up to her. Okay? All right. On to the next dialogue.